Halogen headlights are a shining example of progress. The halogen bulbs throw cool white light that mimics daylight, illuminating the road ahead. And because they're energy efficient, they don't burn out too often. That's a plus when you're trying to keep your eye on the road. To make a halogen headlight, mechanical jaws load three lead wires into a machine. A grip removes in and bends the wires at the bottom. Meanwhile, a conveyor system feeds little glass rods to a burner. The softened glass is now pressed onto either side of the lead wires, encasing them. Next, a welding head fuses tungsten coils to the lead wire assembly. The coil is the filament, the part of the bulb that emits light. Over at another station, a mechanical arm loads a glass tube into a machine head. A burner aims a flame at the center to soften it up. Then mechanical heads pull the glass at both ends as the burner continues to fire heat at the middle. This creates a neck in the tube. Now mechanical arms position the coil and lead wire assembly under the newly shaped glass tubes. Grippers lower the glass tube over them so they sit under the neck. Burners move in and encircle the glass at the bottom, softening it. Then a press seals the glass around the lead wires, which protrude from the bottom. Next, a test. An electrode sparks the lead wires. When the capsule illuminates, it means there's ambient air inside that would interfere with the bulb's function. Vacuums at the top of the bulb suck out all the air and contaminants. Then nozzles spray liquid nitrogen onto the bulb. This freezes it inside and out, creating a pressure difference. That change in pressure pulls halogen gas into the bulb from a chamber above. Allowing no time for the gas to escape, burners heat seal the bulb at the neck. The bulbs then cool as they move on a transfer chain. Grippers now load the bulbs into another machine. A pusher moves up and snaps a steel retainer around the bottom of each bulb. Meanwhile, another machine builds the base for the bulb. It pushes electrical contacts into the plastic receptacle. This is the view from the bottom. These prongs will eventually connect the headlight to the vehicle. Next, jaws flip the bases. They load them onto a tray on tracks. The tray delivers the plastic bases to a mechanical arm that installs metal retainers on each one. The bases slide forward and the machine inserts the glass bulbs into them but it's a loose fit. This machine aligns each bulb to its base. Jaws tilt and slide it into place, then a laser welds it together. This alignment is critical. Coils for the low beam and high beam mechanisms must be precisely positioned for the headlight to project the right light. Next, a series of claws pick up the bulbs. They dip them in an opaque coating. It's called black top because it only covers the tops of the bulbs. This will direct light out of the sides of the bulb. Now it's time to take these headlights for a test drive, so to speak. A bracket holds them down while probes underneath energize them to make sure they work. A plunger places a gasket around the base. This will seal the headlight capsule to the automobile. And now, they're ready to shed some light on any highway situation. <laughs>